Flexmark Outdoors. Hey, wanted to give you a review of this Icotech Outlaw today. Uh, as a backdrop, you should know that it's actually predator calling that got us into archery elk hunting at Flexmark. So this is a subject that's near and dear to our hearts. And actually, I spent three days out in the field with this Icotech Outlaw. I was impressed enough to where I felt like I wanted to become a dealer. So now we are an official dealer of the Icotech machines. You can look at the video description below uh, for a link uh, to our website or you go to www.flexmarkoutdoors.com. So with that as a backdrop, let's get into this Icotech Outlaw review. We're going to give you 10 reasons why you might ought to consider one for yourself uh, or if you've already got one, why you might want to upgrade. And then we'll also give the flip side. We'll give three or four things that we consider deficiencies or things that we wish this machine had that it doesn't. Okay. The first reason is that the machine just sounds good, really good. Um, that's why I wanted to become a dealer after spending three days with it. We're gonna go with the group howl. The call is down there about 20 yards from me. That's on full blast. No shimmies or shakes in the speakers. Really crisp <coughs> and piercing sounds. This speaker is about six and a half inches wide and it puts out some phenomenal sound. It doesn't matter if it's the high squeaks of rodents or the, you know, the intense loud howls or whines or whatnot. The speaker is just, it just, it's good and it's crisp and clear no matter the volume. And uh, I was out in the 20 to 30 degree weather and it just performed really well. So that's number one, the machine has got to sound good. And this Icotech Outlaw sounds pretty darn good. Um, second thing, a remote. You've gotta have a solid remote. And we'll get into the details here, but this thing has up to a 300 uh, 300 yard range and it does not need to be line of sight There's your on and off switch right there. It's the call itself is like a polymer plastic There's what slides it up into that holder on the call. I suppose you can use this as a belt clip if you want to um, The batteries go in here and these Icotex have this nice little knob that just accesses all the battery compartments There's four double A's in here There's your access point when you're syncing up for your sounds, if you download additional sounds. Um, anyway, you got this nice durable rubber antenna on top. Also, you've got your land, lanyard loop down here at the bottom. Um, you got your menu button up here. So you have a display uh, style, day versus night. So there's your night style, back up to day. You've got your brightness, you can change that. Sequence delay, it's either off or it's 20 seconds. So once a sound is done, let's say a rabbit sound goes 30 seconds. If it's off, it's just gonna compete. It's just going to keep playing on a continuous loop. If you put that on 20 seconds, every time that 30 second clip stops playing, it'll actually pause for 20 seconds before it starts up again. It's kind of a battery saver thing, but also kind of like a natural way to do a stand. I mean, in my opinion. So I've got mine set to 20 seconds. Um, and then there's the sleep mode, 10 seconds, 30 seconds, or one minute. I've got mine set to one minute. So let's turn on the decoy. Um, so you start your stand and the decoy is on. Oops, we don't need the light on, oh well. The decoy's on, it's just gonna continue to spin by itself intermittently. Um, but you do have the option just to stop it with the remote control and use it as you see fit. So push it, it'll start it stop it so that gives you control of what that decoy does it's also got two uh favorite buttons up there so that you can pre-program your favorite sounds that you use the most right there in your two favorite banks so i set mine up for example is my favorite one bank is all my distress type sounds and my favorite two bank is the howls that i use just helps me keep track of where my calls are at reason number three is that this machine comes with 240 sounds. Uh, it's pretty incredible, you guys. I mean, there is every type of sound for every single scenario that you could possibly be in. You could not repeat a call all day long if you wanted to use you know, some different calls 
on, on different stands and they all sound really good. Reason number four is obviously you've got a, an integrated decoy with this call. And I think that's really huge for hunters like me who a lot of times I end up going out alone uh, or I go on the spur of the moment so I don't have anyone to go with me. You know, you got your gun over one shoulder, maybe a shotgun over the other. You got a call in one hand, a decoy in the other. Uh, it's really hard to keep track of all this stuff that you're taking into the field. So the integrated decoy, it just makes things really nice and alleviates some of that complexity of what you have to remember. What's awesome about it is you turn it on and there's nothing special about the decoy in and of itself. You can control, you can control that speed here with this dial and slow it down if you want to. But the awesome part is, is that if you're out hunting at night, check your local laws and the units that you're hunting. Um, but if you're out hunting at night, <laughs> the second click up, we'll turn on this little LED light and light up the decoy. So let me just run over and shut off the lights and show you what that looks like. There you go, there's what that looks like hunting at night. Pretty unique feature. But reason number five, let's go back to the remote, is the ability to play two different sounds. You'll see that you've got two different green play buttons. And so what that allows you to do is of these 240 sounds, you can play any two of those you want to at the same time. So let's go to my favorite bank here. And let's just start the cottontail on favorite one. And then, oops, let me turn that volume down. And then we'll start, let's say, this chicken squawk on the second. See, so now you hear I've got both sounds going at once. And I can see that they're both green. If I want to pause one, I pause the chicken. It turns red so you know that it's not playing anymore. I want to pause that first sound. I can do that too. Now they're both red. I can start them both back up. And away we go. I got both sounds running again. That's a great feature to mix up the, the sounds that you're playing and the things that you can do on a stand to keep things interesting for the coyotes or whatever predator it is you're, you're trying to call. So that is number five. Number six, it's right on the box. There is a five year warranty. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a five year warranty with this outlaw. That's super important to consumers and it's super important to me, especially now as a dealer, um, that a company stands behind the product uh, that they make. So that's number six. Number seven, from what I can tell so far, and even what they tout on their website at icotech.com, is an excellent battery life. And I can tell you from my experience so far that that is absolutely 100% true. We've had this out on um, three separate days so far. We've had 11 or 12 stands, plus the time that I'm taking on my own in the car and here at my home to get familiar with the machine and dink around and tinker with it. Um, if I turn on, if I go back to the remote, and turn it on, you'll see that there's a battery life indicator right there. It's in green on the bottom. It's still all the way over to the right hand side, meaning it's darn near 100%. So number eight is more of a, a simple design feature. Um, it's got a really sturdy handle, but the best part is that it's not totally enclosed. So what this was designed for, you can see this, uh, this bulb shape on the bottom is half circle. And that's actually meant to stick over a barbed wire fence. And I've got a shot here, I'll show you from in the field of that, where you can stick it on a branch, but it's nice and balanced. It'll just sit there, still points up in the air. And if you hang it on a fence, it also gets this decoy up a little bit more visible where it's gonna do a better job at being seen. That is number eight. Number nine, access to an online sound library for free. Now granted, I don't know how many people will actually do that, there's 240 sounds here, which is, again, as far as I know, the most on the market. But you do have access to the Icotech Sound Library on their website, and you can download any sounds that are particular to the Outlaw for free. So that's number nine. Number 10 is just the available of a rechargeable battery pack, and I've got a screenshot I'll show, I'll show that to you right here as well. Those are my top 10 reasons why you 
might want to consider upgrading to or just per outright purchasing an Outlaw if it's your first one. You cannot make your own custom call sequences with the Icotec Outlaw, and we'd like to be able to do that, especially, you know, if you're a solo hunter like myself, a lot of times, and it's, it's nice not to have to be staring down at your screen the whole time wondering what sounds you should play or switching things up. It's nice to have a predetermined call set. We do think that that's something that would be nice to add in the future. Um, the second is that this, the auto, if you go to the main menu, the, the sleep mode there that you can see, sleep mode, we like to have the remote on almost the entire stand. You know, because it's one less button I have to push when it falls asleep on me and the screen goes dark. The maximum that you can set this to is one minute. Um, we, we prefer something like three minutes or five minutes or something like that, just to make it easier, especially when you are running solo. Now, the, the third deficiency, I mean, it's not that, even that big of a deal, but <clears throat> you'll notice that the decoy, I think the motor is a little louder than other decoys that, I, that I've seen. I guess our final critique is that it takes 18 batteries, which, I don't know, it's not that big of a deal for us. You've got 10 in the machine itself, four in the decoy, and four in the call, that's 18. Well folks, there are your 10 reasons that you might wanna consider an outlaw, and a few deficiencies also in the unit for, for consideration. Again, it's a fantastic unit. It's not a perfect machine, it's not a perfect call, but it's a really good call. Uh, this thing retails at $399.99. However, if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, which you're on, and you use the code OUTLAW10 on our website at flexmarkoutdoors.com, you will receive a 10% discount on this awesome product. That's a substantial savings, making it, again, one of the better values available uh, in your predator calling needs. So, Please consider that. Consider letting us help you out with your Icotech purchases. And if you want to see another review of another Icotech product, the Sabre, go ahead and click up here. Thanks. We'll catch you on the next video. You've got your external speaker port here. You've got a syncing port um, for when you update the controller. If you go down to the sound library, and download additional sounds. You'll have to use this to update your remote control. Here's the decoy uh, jack, so we're plugged into that now. And then you also have a couple mini USB ports here, again, for the purposes of connecting and syncing with the computer to download more sound. All that's in the instructions, so we're not gonna go over that. Come around this side, you've got the, you know, the decoy. Now, to get into the battery, the unit itself takes uh, 10, double A, and the way you get in that is just uh, through the side here, and you've got your bank of five double A's there, and there will be five on the other side, so a total of ten. And then the decoy, you want to screw this back in, but the decoy, the battery compartment to it is right here on the front, and there are four double A's in there as well. So there's 10 in the unit, four in the decoy. And one of the things that I didn't actually mention is you don't have to run with this decoy if you don't want to. All you have to do is unscrew here. And this decoy will actually pop off. So you don't have to run with the decoy. And with, with this call in the box, is a separate plate to go over the top of that if you decide to take off the decoy for whatever reason. You got your antenna here. Um, I tested this call personally at over, it was about 106 yards according to my range finder. Worked great, had zero issues. It is pre-threaded on the underside if you wanna put this thing up on a tripod.